Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Would you be interested in a high definition stereo sound, 60 frames per second, co-op mode, Tomb Raider on your SNES Classic? Because that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. This is a very, very interesting program called Open Lara, created by developer Xproger over on the Hacksheet Resources Discord, and then it was tweaked to make it easier to run with Hackchi and the SNES Classic by the guys over at HackchiResources.com. So give your props to Xproger. He did an amazing job with this. I also need to thank BS Linnell because he created a excellent step-by-step -step guide on how to get this running that I'm personally following uh, to create this tutorial for you guys. So make sure you give him all your thanks. He's the one that I followed to get this working. So let's get to it. Make sure that your SNES Classic is hacked by using the newest Hatchy CE version that you can find on HatchyResources.com. You will not need any special cords to get this to run. It is self-contained, meaning you don't even need RetroArch to get this to run. Simply add it and then follow the steps here. All you have to do is go to HatchyResources.com and download the OpenLara zip file from there. Once you've downloaded it in your Hatchy 2 program, click the Add More Games button. Going to go to the folder where you downloaded the zip file right here, openlara.zip. Click open and it'll be added to your HackG program. For purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be using the PS1 version of the game. It's the one I'm most familiar with and it's a very easy way to get this running. You can also use the PC version, um, I think Steam, and maybe the Android version. But we're going to focus on the PS1 version to get this running smoothly. You're going to need a program called CD Made, which I talked about in one of my other PS1 videos. I'll have a link in the description to download CD Made for you. So here is CD Made. What we need to do here is click the open folder icon. We're going to go to our downloaded Tomb Raider version. We're going to use Tomb Raider 1 for this. Um, if you use this right here, Tomb Raider USA version 1.6, if you do a search for that, I can almost guarantee you will find the file that you're looking for. It's going to be in a 7-zip file, so make sure you unzip it. You'll get this folder right here. If we go into folder, we have a ton of bin files and a Q file. Open up that Q file. It'll take just a few seconds. You're going to click on track 1. And you're going to see a few files over here on the side. The files we're interested in is PSX data and DEL data. Oh, something I should mention while we're here. Right now, FMV movies are not supported, so you won't get any of the FMV movies when you play these games. That's just how it is at the moment. That could change later, but right now, FMV video is not supported. What you're gonna do here in CD Mage is right-click PSX Data. Go to Extract Files. You're gonna go to the file that was created when you added the zip file into HackG. So click these three dots right here. We're going to go to our HackG folder, games underscore SNES, and there it is, open Lara, open Lara files, click OK. Then you're going to click the extract button right here. And as you can see here, it's moving those files into that folder. Extraction completed successfully. Do the same thing with the DEL data folder. Right click, extract files, same folder here, HackG, games SNES, open Lara, open Lara files. Click OK and extract. Extraction completed successfully again. And that's all we needed CD Mage for. We are done with that program. We can close it. Now, as it stands right now, we can synchronize the game and send it over to our SNES Classic, it will run. But you won't have any audio tracks for it. Now this next step is completely optional, you don't have to do it unless you want the audio tracks to go with the game. I personally appreciate the music inside games, so I did do this step. But again, you don't have to do this step. If you synchronize, you'll be all set. To get the music tracks, you have to download the audio files from the Android version. What we need to do next is right click in our HackG program, show in Windows Explorer. So this is our game file here that we created, the CLV folder. If we go into the open Lara files, here's the PSX data and the DEL data that we created. 
we have to right click new folder we have to name this audio we're going to leave this folder open and we're going to go to whatever folder we downloaded our android sounds to i would do a search for this right here tomb raider 1 version 1.0 all this stuff right here and hopefully you'll be able to find those system sounds I can't provide those to you because again those are copyrighted so you'll get a folder that maybe looks like this let's open up this folder here and you'll see an OBB file now I didn't know what an OBB file was because I'm not all that computer literate but BS Linnell helped me out here all you have to do is right click it with 7-zip go to extract here It'll do its thing real quick. And now you have an assets folder. If you open up the assets folder uh, and you scroll down, you see a whole bunch of other files, but you'll see these OGG files. These are the music files. That's what we're here for. So what we're going to do to make this real quick and easy, you go to this search box right here. We've already typed it in because I've done this once already. You're going to type in OGG. What that's going to do is highlight only the sound files that we're looking for and get rid of the other files. So click on one of the files, hold Control and A so you select all. We're going to right click, we're going to copy. We're going to close that folder, go back to that audio folder that we created in the CLV folder. And then we're going to paste all those files right here. This should only take a couple seconds. There's like 60-ish files, I think. There's a few. Never mind. There's 141 files here. So now we're basically all done. All that's left to do is synchronize this to your SNES Classic. And you can use this on NAND. You don't have to use USB setup because it's only 61 megabytes of space. So that's really nice. And of course, if you're using USB and you're not using the Wi-Fi adapter, you would just hit export games select whatever drive your USB drive is connected to and click OK. So let's head over to our SNES Classic and take a look at Open Lara. All right, so let's take a look at Hackchi Open Lara. Nice little splash screen and you're kicked right into the game. Uh, let's start out with Lara's Home. I actually don't have a lot of experience with the Tomb Raider games. I didn't get into them a lot. I was more of a Legacy of Kane guy myself. Take you on a guided tour. All right, so Laura's going to take us on a guided tour. Use the D-pad to go into the music room. All right, so let's head into the music room real quick. This control is pretty good with the uh, Super Nintendo control. All right, so she wants I'll us to it again jump. And quickly press one of the directions, and I'll jump that way. So yeah, just a little tutorial level. But like I said, I haven't played much of the. Ah, uh, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Run up to a crate, and while still pressing forward, press action and I'll vault up onto it. Okay, um, yeah, I haven't played much of the Tomb Raider games. I think I played a little bit of two. Whichever one you go to France and, you know, that's where BS Linnell's at. But as you can see, the graphics are very much improved over the PS1 version. Very crisp, very sharp. See how smooth everything is, the way she runs. This used to be the ballroom. I don't actually run everywhere. With the walk button down, I won't if you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Alright, so anyway. Press in the direction you want to look. Hold that thought, Laura. Uh, let's actually head into the game portion of this so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. Okay, so game start game. And like I said, we're not gonna have any FMVs with this version. So it should just launch us right into the first stage. And I don't know much about the Tomb Raider series. I know she's like a female Indiana Jones. And she's got twin pistols. Bam. And it's a very adventure oriented game. And we got shot in the head apparently with the dart. That's okay. Sometimes that happens when you raid tombs. Um, What was that? She's looking up there. Should I go up there? I guess I should go up there. Let's go up there. There we go. A little forward momentum with the old B slash X button. Well, I should say B button. B button on the Super Nintendo controller. There's some bats. Bats. Did I get them? Nope. Got them. All, th all three bats. We got rid of three bats. But just look at the game. It looks so nice. 
It runs so smooth, no hiccups at all. It's really great. I'm not even, like I I'm not a huge fan of this series, but I'm very impressed with this. Extremely impressed. x Proger did a wonderful job porting this over to the SNES Classic. I'm just going to slide down. Let's put those puppies away. Okay, jump over and down here. Yes, little hidden area. All right, so like I was saying um, in the intro, obviously we have updated graphics. We have stereo sound. We have 60 frames per second gameplay. I also mentioned that there is co-op play. To do that, let's take care of the bat first. Got him. Uh, to do that, you simply just have to hit start on your second controller. Like that. So, let's just back. There we go. So now we are player two, Lara. Hello, player one, Lara. How are you? What's, what's that? You want to have a shootout. We can do that. On the count of three. Ready? Uh, 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 oh, oh. Wait, let's get a good. Hold on. Shootout. Good shootout view. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! No. Yes. But yeah, I thought this was really cool. You can actually play this game co op. So if you're like a huge Tomb Raider fan, you're probably giggling to yourself right now how cool this is. Yeah, and it all runs at 60 frames a second. How cool is that? I'm trying. I'm. It's not easy controlling two ladies at once. I'm having some. Oh, but anyway, that's the idea. This is awesome. Never would have crossed my mind that somebody would have created something like this for the SNES Classic. So once again, thank you so much to X Proger, um, the guys over at HackGResources.com for helping me get this to run, especially BS Leno for creating that guide on Reddit. Hope you all found this tutorial useful and you get some enjoyment out of the new. Open Lara on the SNES Classic. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out? And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.